Hello and a warm welcome back. My name is Amir and in this video, which is the beginning of a series, we are going to write the memory game. In this game, we have like 16 cards, which 2x2 two two match. So for example, these two match, these two match, and so forth and so on. So this is going to be fun. Let's go and start. I already have created my React app using the npx using the npx create React app. You can do the same and then follow along. So here, first thing is that as usual, I will remove the parts that I don't want. So I will remove this part and and this from here in the index.js I don't need this part I don't need this and I don't need these now I can remove these files and this file and the index.css also and in the app.css I can remove these parts and I have an empty app to start with Okay, cool. First thing is that I would like to create a folder called pix and add my images to that. So let me grab my pictures. So I will grab these ones and uh, put them here. Right. Then we can add them to our app and use them. So let me go here and first change this to 4 like so all right so first let's have a initial function and we have a bunch of cards basically we have 16 cards because i have eight images and i need two of each so fill them with nothing and I will map them to don't care about this value the index is what I need I will map them to an object with two values one is the source which will be pointing to one of these files and the other one is the revealed which we will talk about later so for now this is false and the source is this value being mapped to 1 to 8 modulus 8 plus 1 And let's for now lock the cards. Need an effect to run this function only once. And if I go back here, I have an array of 1 to 8, 1 to 8. Okay, so let's change this to be a valid URL something like this and we need a zero here dot jpg to save go back and here we have all the pictures need to shuffle them so I would use the sort function for this don't care about these two values I will just randomly generate a number between minus 1 and 1 actually between minus 0.5 and plus 0.5 which will sometimes swap these two values that are sent to sort and sometimes it doesn't so let's go back refresh and uh, here you can see that the cards are shuffled 1 6 4 6 7 4 3 2 and so on right next step is that we want to show them here so instead of just using the console log 
we can define a state here. The beginning gets an empty array and here and here we can map those uh, cards so it will be something like I'm only using the SRC as I provided here if I go back now I have the images here inside the app but for each of the image we need the front and the back so that we can do this and it's much more convenient to write the CSS if we wrap all the images inside the div so I would do a few classes here Okay, if I go back here, I have the card face and the card back here. Let's give this a key as well, like so, and the warning should go away, yes. We need to give this an alt. Okay. Now the React is happy as well. Okay, cool. So in the next part, we'll style these cards. Thank you for watching. I see you in the episode number two.